This is Duke University. The Faculty at a Glance session was a part of IGSP's Explorations Week and it was designed to give faculty the opportunity to share their research both with each other and the community in very short bites to add excitement and build community. We're looking at finding regions of open chromatin to identify gene regulatory elements, and I should say Craig, <coughs> the conductor Crawford, and we're not only looking. The faculty were asked to give 90 second blurbs about their research and they were also told that if they went over their time, they were going to get soaked by the faculty moderator. When you have 10 to 15 seconds left, you'll hear a pumping sound. We can hear that. And then, 90 seconds, you go over, that'll happen. They're probably a little higher. If the audience is other faculty, undergraduates, graduate students, postdocs, and Duke community members. I've got the gene regulation blue. I can find out what turns me on. My cofactors left me. I am down-regulated all night long. Um, it's, it's common knowledge that leukemias and lymphomas are, are curable. Uh, the catch is you need to be a mouse. And <laughs> Don't forget the dendrites. They receive the signals, all right? But sometimes things can go wrong. Nerves grow, but are not so strong. In spastic paraplegia, the distal tips say, see ya. Where do I begin? Okazaki sequencing to map origins. Some work that we've been doing on diagnostics where... <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even hear the pumping. What I look at is how information about science circulates through um, novels, films, and the media. So we look at race and genetics and issues of identity and genetics how scientists study populations, how they label populations. I was surprised. I thought the faculty would go over time, but apparently they're more efficient than I thought and also more afraid of water. We know nothing about prostate cancer. <sighs> Molecularly, we know nothing about prostate cancer. <sighs> and, you know, I think this represents uh, the body of what I would call prostate cancer. Now, what the Febo lab works on is not this. <laughs> But this, this is a key to the SEMA's conference rooms, but <laughs> what it stands for. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.